Welcome back to Paramedic Project, practical tips for novice paramedics. Uh, today we're talking about the secondary survey, and I'll give you uh, my big tip on how to do this, uh, how to do this effectively. Of course, when we're talking about a secondary survey, in this setting we're talking about the trauma patient. So this is patients uh, we're completing a thorough, complete secondary survey on to try and find uh, all of their injuries. So um, Often with these patients, we're going out there, we're looking at the information we're getting on the case on the, way to the, on the way to the scene, and we're thinking, oh wow, it sounds like they've got a big leg fracture or an arm fracture. And, uh, and sometimes when we're on approach to the patient, we see a big, uh, a big malaligned leg, a big deformity, uh, and we get focused on that one fracture. And often we get to, the, we get to the, the patient, and we just expose that leg, we take the shoe off, and we can see this big obvious injury there. And I think uh, it's good to ask yourself the question, um, what's the most commonly missed fracture in a secondary survey? And uh, some people will be thinking, oh, it might be a small bone in the face or a bone in the hand or a bone in the foot, something really small that's hard to, that's hard to find. But the reality, the real answer is, it's the second fracture. We get focused on the big, obvious deformity and, uh, and we don't complete our, our secondary survey thoroughly, so we can't find all the patient's injuries. We need to be aware of that, that we do get task focused, we do get focused on the big obvious injuries. And uh, so we need to go through, expose the patient completely. Of course, we've talked about doing that respectfully and with consent and then covering the patient up and keeping them warm. We can cut up the arms and up the middle of the, uh, up the, middle of the shirt or a jacket and let those clothes fall away. Do the same, remove the shoes. We might need to cut the boots or cut laces, cut up the front of the pants to really expose the patient completely. We can use our eyes then to scan for bruising, abrasions, lacerations, deformities, swelling. And then we need to palpate head to toe. I'm not going to go through and show you exactly how I do that. You would have been taught that in your, uh, in your training, in your education. You need to practice that on as many mannequins and as many, as many people as you get a chance to. The big takeaway point is to not get focused on the single big injury and to still complete a thorough secondary survey, even though we think that that's, uh, that's the only thing the patient's complaining of. So that's my tip. Once again, thanks for joining us. Find us on social media, and we'll see you next time.